Operation 1. Priming the pump. Prior to starting the system, open MV1 and ensure all other valves are closed. Submerge the inlet hose in a sufficiently filled bottle and ensure it remains within the water to avoid drawing air into the pipework. The water is drawn from the bottle and passes through an optional flow meter before exiting via the outlet. At this point the pump can be stopped and the valve closed. Operation 2. Inlet valve. After the pump is primed, water can now be supplied to the extraction vessel. This is done by opening MV2, situated above the pump. Ensure once more that the inlet hose is adequately submerged in water. The water will then run through the flow meter, into the pump, and finally reach MV2. Caution! Failing to open MV2 before starting the pump may lead to a rapid buildup of pressure, potentially triggering a rupture disc. Operation 3. Pressurization of the extraction vessel. Whether the system is to be operated in flow or batch mode determines whether or not MV3 should be opened. To pressurize the vessel, Open MV2 and start the pump. Water passes through the preheaters, ensuring it reaches the target temperature before flowing into the vessel. After exiting, water proceeds through the condensers, lowering the temperature to a safe level before it reaches the outlet valve. In batch mode, where the pump is responsible for maintaining and regulating pressure within the extractor, MV3 should remain closed. Conversely, when using the BPR in continuous mode, this valve should remain open. Operation 4. Flow Mode To execute an extraction by maintaining a continuous flow of water through the vessel, MV3 must be open. Water travels to the automatic back pressure regulator, where its pressure and temperature are measured. The pressure is controlled and adjusted through the software. Operation 5. Product Collection Water flows through the automatic back pressure regulator and collects in the cold trap. It has a capacity of up to 1 litre and keeps the water at a safe temperature for collection. Operation 6. Product Drainage the accumulated water is emptied by opening MV4, situated beneath the vessel. Water can be collected in an appropriate container, positioned below the vessel. If the extraction process necessitates collection of more than one litre, MV4 can remain open throughout the process. By extending the outlet tubing using a flexible hose, water can now be collected in a larger container. Operation 7. Water Overflow To avoid pressurization of the cold trap, an overflow pipe is present. If the vessel isn't periodically drained and reaches its capacity, the excess water will flow into the vent pipe. This water is then collected in the catch pot located to the right of the system. Caution! If the catch pot exceeds its capacity, the surplus water will be discharged onto the floor. This is a safety measure to prevent buildup of excessive pressure in the collection area of the system. Operation 8. Automatic Sampling Valve Systems equipped with an automated sampling valve have the capability to collect samples at predetermined intervals during the process. The preferred sampling frequency can be configured in the software and adjusted down to millisecond intervals. Water travels from the extractor's base through a mini condenser, which regulates its temperature for safe collection, before finally arriving at the automated valve. Operation 9. Collecting samples. The sampling frequency is managed via the software. 
When the valve opens, a sample is captured in an appropriate container, situated on a shelf. If you intend to collect multiple samples, the bottle should be swapped out after each collection round. Operation 10. Safety. To safeguard against overpressurization, the system incorporates multiple safety devices. In the event that the pressure surpasses the safe limit, the rupture disc swiftly burst, allowing for the rapid release of pressure. Water discharge travels to the catch pot, located to the right of the system. Warning! When a rupture disc is activated, the pipework associated with the rupture line may become hot. While most pipes are covered, the vent line is not and should be avoided to prevent burns.